Uh, of course, I'm very proud to be here, to be as a representative as the city of Stockholm, receiving this top rank position in this study. Um, it is not the first time we have ranked one or two or three in these national studies, and it's every time it's amazing, and I'm very proud to, to receive this top position. But it's, of course, hard work to, to be there. So I will uh, give you a very brief introduction to our ICT development in Stockholm and uh, tell you something about some innovative project and some development we have done uh, years before now, when we stay here, and what is going on just now. This is Schista. It's a, it's a region in Stockholm, just 50 meter, 15 minutes from the city centre, where a lot of ICT companies are has established their uh, operations. And the whole Stockholm region is, is, as we say, home to cutting edge technology, a high skilled workforce, Europe fastest growing stopped up companies and some of the world's most advanced users of, of ICT technology. Stockholm is the place uh, for companies and investors to find the technologies, people, skilled people and other companies to that they need to develop new products and services. According to Niklas Sandström, founder of Skype, he recently showed that Stockholm now is the second most productive technology hub per capita. So that is nice and it shows something about your economic variable. Perhaps it is better now than when you did the study. We'll see that next year. One very important thing we have in Stockholm is Stokab. Stokab is providing fiber optic network as open ICT infrastructure in order to secure a free uh, and fair competition regarding services. Stokab's, Stokab is owned by the city and was established in 1994, 20 years ago. Stokab provide a platform for competition, service, development and innovation. This infrastructure platform creates low barriers for new players to enter the market and develop new services for the public and private sectors. Today, 90% of the households are connected to Stokab's fiber optic network and nearly 100% of all companies in, in the city. We have also had a fast rollout of 4G. G. Today, four operators provide 4G in Stockholm. And as a matter of fact, Stockholm was the first place in the world to roll out 4G in the year 2009. I will now give you some brief, short introduction to some innovative project which is going on in Stockholm. I will begin with uh, Stockholm Digital Care. As we heard Martin Ingvart this morning, he talked about the big challenges uh, for the nations, but it's also big challenges for the cities and regions. And uh, he talked a lot about hospitals and hospital care, but in the city we are responsible for the home service care and for elder care and caring for disabled persons. And these has to be, our processes uh, must be connected to the county council's responsibility for the hospitals. And this, uh, this uh, the good news in, in this sector, the e-health sector, is of course that there are a lot of companies and services for different target groups in the framework of what we called Internet of Things. So Stockholm Digital Care is a pre-study to explore the opportunities to use digital technology to secure and raise quality of life for our elderly people in their homes. Uh, 
another innovative project is called Grow Smarter. The project is coordinated from the city of Stockholm uh, together with uh, Barcelona and the city of Köln, Cologne. We recently received 25 million euro to find smart solutions in smart grids, traffic planning and effect effective energy consumption, etc. in the new city areas. Other uh, examples are these. I'm very proud to show you uh, the three dimension city map it could not be seen here, but I promise you, it's in 3D. It's photographing from the air uh, through the whole city. And the uh, way you can show how the city is growing and changing, including new areas and housing in the, in the 3D map. We have combined this technique with using a virtual table called Urban Explorer, first developed uh, by the Swedish ICT and Interactive Institute for the hospitals to visualize everything which is handling in the hospitals. Now it's used in the city, in the city planning, and used in city exhibitions to open for all the citizens in Stockholm. These are example for, for innovate projects goes going on. The next step is to communicate with the citizen with digital devices, perhaps showed online on the virtual table. Perhaps we soon can upload pictures with our smartphones on, for example, Instagram and send it to the city for immediate response. Another project aims to enable people to make digital tours in their neighborhoods or in the new city areas using their smartphones and uh, QR codes to get information of what is inside the houses, such as uh, energy consumption and efficiency, sustainable recycled materials, innovative technical solutions, that otherwise would be invisible for the citizens and the tenants. A first test version of this will be launched very shortly. Since 15 years, we have in the city planned for new digital services for our citizens. Today, we have 65 e-services. They are available 24 hours a day and the, city can, the city can, citizens can reach them whenever and wherever they want. We have seen a very rapid development of both internal and external web services and mobile apps. Both e-services and mobile apps are established on platforms. We work a lot of, with technical platforms in the city, partly in order to ensure a common user interface, of course, and partly to enable function reuse and be more cost efficient, of course. We all want to be transparent, to communicate with the citizens, uh, to let them participate in our businesses, to let them in, to be transparent, uh, and uh, to, to let them in and to talk to us. Uh, we don't just talk to them what, they, what we want to provide. Uh, we oft often talk about this and it's hard to achieve, but 2011 we began to publish our information as open data. According to a European legislation directive, who no one at that time cared about, but we did. So we launched uh, a, a challenge that we call Op Stock Open Stockholm Award and published uh, uh, open data to be provided for entrepreneurs, startup companies and individuals. So 2012 and 2014 we launched these 
challenge, and the goal was, of course, to stimulate the use of our open data and let other provide services to the citizens. This year, at spring 2014, individuals and companies from 100 countries worldwide visited, visited our website, and a lot of them joined the challenge Open Stockholm Award. And on the picture on the slide here, you see some of the happy winners. I think this is part of our work with ICT in Stockholm to provide our information open and, and transparent to citizens, and that is a, a great way to, to let the citizens in and participate in our businesses. So, I'm very, and city, city of Stockholm is, of course, very proud. I'm very proud to, to receive the top rank position in this study. And, uh, I warmly welcome the other cities to challenge us, and that will keep us on too, and uh, alert to next time, Patrick, when we have the next uh, report, 2015. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much.